like, oh. <gasps> Most disgusting fart. Oh shit, I just saw that girl. Mm hmm, she wants me. It's raining. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, look at how wet that roof is. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I realized I could just do this in post and edit the screen upside down. Dun, dun. Dun. Hi, hello, welcome back. Good morning, my love. So welcome back to the vlog. If you guys haven't watched yesterday's vlog, it is pertinent that you guys watch yesterday's Lotte World Adventure Korea vlog because this entire story is going to be something strange. Stupid that happened while we were there. It was absolutely ridiculous, but so cute in its own little way. So yesterday I went to Lotte World and I was wearing like the most thoughty thought. Like, of course, uh, the day that I decide to go to an amusement park with families, I wear this lime green. It wasn't like a mini dress, it wasn't like super skanky, but it was definitely a bodycon. I paired it with an oversized jean jacket just so you know she could stay humble or whatever. I had like this giant neon green ribbon attached to it. It was ridiculous and I loved every single second of it. They had had these amazing photo booth rooms where I took a bunch of pictures and one specific room was like this entirely pink little it's not even a room it's like this little stand-up area and so I decided because it's an open concept type of flow so you go from photo op to photo op to photo backdrop it's like one of those like Instagram friendly pop-up shop vibes but everybody's watching you take pictures everybody's waiting in line to take pictures of specific backdrops and so a lot of kids who finished school were still in their school uniforms had headed over to look the world after school. They were still in their cute little Asian school uniforms and we show up to Lotte World, me looking like a lime green thought, okay? Like a piña colada thought. I'm taking pictures in this specific pink backdrop. I decide to kind of like lean my body up against the wall but then like prop my feet up on the chair. Like truly, she's really doing the most type of vibes. And my fiance is just like, ooh yes, work it bitch. Ooh, ooh yes girl. This in America was a very just um cookie cutter picture. Like this is not a an inappropriate picture. Honestly, family friendly. Like, a brand would have endorsed this. And I was wearing a midi dress, and inside the midi dress, I was wearing it's flesh. A it's a midi. Midi. Oh, midi. Yeah, inside the midi dress was flesh colored shorts because I didn't want to flash everybody. And also, I know how like the under under the skirt camera business in South Korea is a thriving right now. So I was like, mm -mm, not today, not at Lotte World Bits. And so I was wearing skin colored pants. So I have my legs propped up and my legs are kind of open because I'm trying to, like, you know, I'm just trying to work it, right? And a group of little, I don't, would you say they were high schoolers? Yeah. Little, okay, yeah. so high schoolers, they're in their uniforms. And when I was in high school obviously if I saw some random girl I thought I saw her you know private her secret garden which was not out by the way because I literally had shorts on but because of like the lighting and then the color of the shorts it could have just looked like skin I mean there was no um, drain or hole or anything but it just definitely could have been misunderstood as skin and so I think it was like two girls and one guy still in their uniform the guy literally looks <laughs> the guy literally looks into my dress oh my god and then he looks at me and he goes oh. <laughs> i'm not even being dramatic he goes oh. like with this like a perfect oval with his mouth right and me being the bad bitch that i am i keep posing right and i'm i have eye contact on them like they're literally right in front of me my face my fiance is taking pictures from the side profile and they're right in front of me like i'm literally looking at them and he looks to one of the girls taps her on the shoulder like this right and then he whispers into her ear and she doesn't make eye contact with me and she goes <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> But I know for a fact that I didn't flash them because I was wearing shorts. Traumatized. Yeah, I know. And then I told him afterwards. I was like, "Wow, Korean high schoolers are so innocent." And I wanted to save his reaction for the vlog, so I didn't tell him the full story. And he goes, "Huh?" And I was like, "No, don't worry about it." But it's because they were like, "Oh!" It was the cutest thing ever, which is crazy because, like, if you were to think like high schoolers, or maybe like leave it in the comments. Are you guys in high school? And if you are, like, or even if you're like older than high school, leave it in the comments what your high school was like. Because for me, if we were in high school and it was like any guy 
from our high school, it wouldn't be a, <gasps> it would be like, oh shit, I just saw that girl, mm-hmm, she wants me. I'm so cool, I get bitches all day. I don't even have a license, but I have a license to kill that po- You get it, you know? <laughs> you never heard a thing like this. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. So I wish now that I grew up in a high school where if I saw someone's flesh-colored shorts, I could be like, oh, <gasps> you know? <laughs> But instead, I grew up in a high school that was like Last night, I went to a party and I got so drunk And like, I had five girls in the bed with me, you know what I'm saying? What kind of high school did I go to? I mean, these are all lies, I'm sure, right? Because I, I mean, like, you know you know those boys in high school. You know how they be, honey. So that was me traumatizing everyone at Lotte World because I just posted this Instagram picture today, which I'm gonna put right here. It's like a video, right? And all the comments were like, Stephanie, there are kids there. And I was like, listen, you don't even know. You don't even know the high schoolers I've traumatized thinking that they saw something that they didn't see. And I just watched all of it happen in front of me. And then after she got, they quickly scurried off. They like disappeared from my sight. Yeah, I bet they're in school right now telling this story but with a very different perspective right now oh my god this grandma <laughs> she was just like <laughs> Rude. Last night, after we got back from Lotte World, I had the biggest stomach problems. So I was kind of laying on a pillow, or I was trying to flatten out the pillows, because the way that they do the housekeeping here, they make the pillows very plump, very fat, very airy, right? And I hate it. It hurts my neck. So I was just trying to deflatten it, and so I grab both of my hands, and I just do this. Oh, I wonder if any of these currently. So they're, like, filled with air, and they leaned, like, oh. I got it. Did you hear that? I leaned on them and it made that noise, right? And I didn't even think it was gonna make that noise. And it was like the most disgusting farting noise that you guys just heard. And so I make that noise and I had stomach problems. My fiance went downstairs to get me like a digestive, which so he knows I got stomach problems right now. And he goes, oh my God. Oh, oh my God, honey. And I go, no, it was the pillow. And he goes, Oh my god, I have never, never, ever, right? And the minute he starts saying that, I'm like, I have to prove it to him that it was the pillow, right? And he's saying, I've never heard a pillow sound like that. Never, ever in my entire life. Do you know how many pillows I've touched? He's going off on a tangent. And so I grab another pillow next to me, and I start doing the same thing again. And lo and behold, it starts farting like a crazy gassed up Chipotle eater. And my fiance just stops. Her. I have never. And looks at me and goes, wow, that's a weird pillow. <laughs> I'm about to head out alone right now because it is currently raining. It's the first and only rainy day of our entire uh, soul trip. So my fiance is going to stay and do some work and I'm going to go meet my dad in Andropa because here's a crazy thing. We might be investing in a Korean PC bang, which is a PC room, which is where you go to play games with a bunch of PCs and food. <laughs> I sound very confident about this. I haven't really been to a lot of PC bangs, but um, I think it's like one of the top three PC bang franchises in Korea, which I didn't even know those existed. Okay, I'm like, can we invest in a McDonald's somewhere, bitch? I don't know. I don't know. My fiance is running numbers on that and doing his own thing, so he's gonna be doing his own thing today, and I'm gonna be doing my own thing, so we're about to head to a market because, like I said, I have two empty suitcases, and none of them are being filled right now, so then what's the point of even, you know, having suitcases? What's the point of even being in Korea if I don't bring them back filled with delicious ramen. I think I'm gonna ask my dad to drive me to a Lotte department store or like a grocery store because the plan was to go out and explore more street food but I ain't going nowhere today. Before we head out, I'm currently in a hotel right now. Prior to this, I was in an Airbnb, and even when I'm home, I actually use this, and I know that a lot of people might think that I'm overreacting, but trust me, more than, I think this was, this study was done years ago, and it showed that more than half of adult Americans have been hacked on the internet in some way, shape, or form. Whether you're checking your emails, or your Chase banking, or like whatever banking account you have, or even if you're like, no, I don't even have a bank account, but sometimes I use my mom's credit card to buy something from forever 21 so I've actually had this on for the past like hour or so 51 minutes and counting because I always keep this on guys what hotspot shield does it pretty much bounces your IP address so no one can hack into your system or at least it makes it a bajillion times harder to this is really good if you're like traveling to hotels foreign countries or if you're a student and you're constantly at cafes public libraries that's where a lot of people get targeted like Starbucks happens to be a big one where people will just sit there and try to hack 
hack your information while they're drinking their cup of coffee because they know that you're using the unsecured Starbucks Wi-Fi. So make sure to check them out. Linked in the description. Doesn't make your computer slow. I've been uploading even with this on and it's been completely fine. I think over like 650 million people use this. And let's go to the mother freaking market. Guys, we've made it in the pouring rain. We're here. Oh my gosh, they have all of these things. They've got, what is this? I thought a biz was going to H Mart. Okay, so we're gonna go to the fresh food section with maybe Olive Young. I'll go there for some gifting. So let's go to B1. I'm so confused. Is this like Uniqlo? It is. Oh, it's Uniqlo in the middle of a... There's not a lot of land in this country, so they just kind of stack everything together. They're like, oh, you want some dumplings? But why don't you buy a new t-shirt while you're upstairs? Like, it's just very confusing. My fiance's at um, the hotel working, so it's just me, Andrew Opa, and my dad today. Okay. I'm obsessed with these little escalators that aren't really escalators, and they're just moving floors. Look at all of the cute advertising in Korea. Like, you would not see this in the States. Like, you wouldn't see little peach heads just hanging out trying to sell you something. Why? Oh my god. So you have to put in 10 cents, right? And so it's not because... It was like, how is someone stealing shopping carts? And if you want to steal a shopping cart, you have 10 cents to do it usually, right? But apparently it's labor cost because you know how my biggest pet peeve is people leaving shopping carts near parking spots in freaking grocery store parking lots? Well, it's to prevent that and you can't and get your 10 cents back unless you hook it up to the cart in front of you, which... Wow, there's supermarket sushi. Looks pretty vegan. Like, look at these spreads. This is $18.80, which isn't bad. Holy cow. Oh my god, they sell little rice cake skewers. And like, what are these giant... <gasps> these tempuras look so good. I think I might have to get one of these. It's 12. Okay, which one do I like? Which one looks the prettiest to you guys? This one. They have these cute little fried chicken domes. They have fried chicken. They've got a chicken bucket. They've got these little like fake sushis. I'm like literally in heaven right now. What is this? Shut the front door. Is this wasabi? No, it's not. No, yes it is. It's wasabi. Kind of want to take that home, but it's refrigerated, so I won't. That is the longest Maris I've... Oh my god. What is that? That looks so good. These little pockets of deliciousness look so good. These are mini kimbaps. They call it little child's kimbap. <laughs> we had this with spicy rice cakes, tteokbokki, and it made it less spicy. And they've got like these boats of just cheese. Cheese. Pink bagels. There's so much more ramen at this place than the last place. Girl is about to go literally crazy for this. This is just the myeon. They just sell the ramen with no... Yeah, no sauce. Nothing. No sauce? Yeah. And people get it? I learned it today when we went to go eat the kimchi chicken. Uh, he, he ordered that and I was like, what the hell? There's no sauce. Because you're paying less just to get mm -hmm. the straight noodles. That mm -hmm. makes so much sense. That's genius. I need to go home and buy some of those because I, I always put stuff. Those. I need to know how they have kimchi pancake in an instant form. Is this not blowing your mind, Opa? He says you do that when you do the dishes. You stand on it. What? It's good for your body, apparently. It's like it hits a certain spot in your feet, and it's like good for your standing position. That's so cool. Oh my god, it's... I think I'm gonna get But one. I also don't think I would want to put it under my feet and then like put it under my neck immediately, you know? But that's just me. Oh my gosh, the land of the golden bowls. They've got the golden little tea petals. And they have some... Wait, is this? Isn't this a lollipop? Yeah. And they have a drink? Oh. I need to get it. I need to get it. Everything is so peachy here. That's something I've realized. Every flavor is heavily peach based. On today's episode of how many different flavors of choco pie can they sell, they've got fresh cream pies with figs and raspberries, strawberries. Wait, where is it? Strawberry yogurt. Oh gosh. And watermelon. Oh, oh my God, running man. Home. I'm telling you it's a condom. I thought these were band-aids guys. These are condoms. Oh okay. the condom. <laughs> they have triangle kimbap packaging, but it's lube. They have a peach drink, but it's lube. It's a plum lube. Oh my, oh my god. But why is the picture of the turtle of them two humping each other? <laughs> That's what I want to know. But <gasps> they have so many. Did you see that? And it's swimming. Hello. Hello. Korea is so strange. They sell turtles at the supermarket. Dun, 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 dun. This looks like a Chick fil A bag. Do you have a tripod over there? I'm not a tripod. I wish you were a tripod. Oh, ew! Tripod? That's disgusting. 
Nothing. Did you guys get that? <laughs> there we go. That is so much better. Not great, but so much better. So this is the first bag of groceries that I'm bringing all the way from Korea to mother freaking United States of America. And I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got because I'm so excited for all of this stuff. So the first thing I'm actually going to eat right now, it's called Tattari. And I really wanted to try this. It's essentially fried chicken snack. I'm bringing these lapokis, which are $20 on Amazon. They're literally $3 at the market. So I got the regular original black bean one. I'm also super excited about this. Apparently this has been famous in Korea. It's instant spaghetti, honey. Instant ramen spaghetti. It's spaghetti ramen. And it says Italian type spaghetti, which by itself just like scares me. When a packaging has to say Italian type spaghetti, I got these giant long two spoons for my mukbang. So look at how beautiful, like ooh, bits. Like that's so cute, right honey? Yeah. He don't give a set. And then we also got three super long chopsticks. They're so cute and affordable in, in Korea. And then we've got these little grape juices. I got an orange juice. Honey, you want an orange juice? I'm gonna try this grape juice. Okay, ready? Oh. Does this say seven calories? Mm hmm Is this actually juice? No. It's jelly. Honey, you had one job. Why is everything jelly? We just want some fruit and it's so expensive here. Okay, I think this one's juice. Okay, you want to try one? It's probably jelly. Okay, we'll just open one. It's fruit and tea blend. It's jelly. <laughs> I'm so goddamn sick of eating jelly. Everything's freaking jelly here. I just want a green juice. I've never said that, but I just want a goddamn green juice. I don't understand this. I got so excited out there. There were juices that I got an extra one. And then, oh, honey, do you know Chupa Chups? Do you know Chupa Chups? Chupa Chups is a lollipop brand, and they have a super cooling Chupa Chups drink bit. I'm gonna try this right now. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this one. It, I hope it's just like a lollipop, because I used to grow up on chupa chips. Oh, that's really gross. Yeah, never drinking that again. Okay, chupa chips failed me. That was so bad. And then this one I'm really excited about because this one is all of your most famous American, not American, these are your famous Korean ice creams, but in candy form. So these are all lollipops, and they're all of like the screw bar, subak bar, chosu, which are like just all of the Korean ice cream bars. I don't know how to explain it. It just sounds so cool. Then we got a thing of cups just because I don't know, I felt like we were gonna need some cups. We also also got this new type of tigim ramen, which is like tigim pyeongmyeon, which is supposed to be really good. I think it's supposed to be like little fried chicken pieces on top, and it's supposed to be one of the best jjajmyeon on the market bits because apparently I know that. <laughs> Fuck jelly. Ooh, this might be really disgusting to some of you guys, but I'm really excited about this. Guess what this is, honey? What? Honey mustard in a bag. It's a jelly. No, it's not. It's, it's honey mustard sauce honey? in a bag. So I got two honey mustards in a bag. I'm so excited about that. I don't know why. I don't even eat a lot of honey mustard. You guys know that I like my regular mustard. I got a carbonara lapoki. I got these little mood tissues, which means that these are kind of like your wet wipes, but they're so cute and they're pretty, like they're cheap. I think it was like less than $2 for one of these, which they're more expensive at Target. And then we got another brand or the same brand but this one is the Zhejiang version so I got all three that I bought for $60 on Amazon but I got it for like what not even $10 here which is insane then we got a lime sparkling bootleg Perrier called Trevi which is just as good I had the grapefruit version and then this next thing I don't even want to show you guys I got two four six eight I got 12 bottles of nuclear sauce <laughs> You're yeah, I think I'm gonna get customed on the way out and they're gonna ask me if I'm starting a wholesale business of these sauces because that's ridiculous. Nobody should ingest this much nuclear sauce, but I'm trying to make a nuclear sauce fountain. We've got this entire little Tupperware, which I'm gonna show you guys. I got this Tupperware because we're gonna go to get some street food tomorrow and I just wanted to make sure that I had safe place to bring it back so I could mukbang the shit out of it. And then inside, I've got some of these like grape jelly candies. I don't know what it is when it comes to Korean and Japanese snacks. I really like just grape jellies, grape candies, grape anything. 
We've got another thing of just wet wipes, which is like the most mom thing to bring back to the States, but like, hi. And then we have some watermelon juice and some strawberry juice. These are real juice. Honey, you want it? I don't trust you, honey. Literally. It's juice. What do you mean you don't trust me? Okay, well, I'm going to try it because now you're making me stressed out. Mmm. It's juice. What What's would yours like? Watermelon, you want to try? This tastes like jam. <laughs> Let me Did try. Some strawberry jam. Is it another jelly? <laughs> we got some more of these. Now my fiance is annoyed that I got these, but these are definitely different from the ones that I have at home already. They're a little bit less deep and a little bit more flat, which I'm kind of excited about. So these are completely different gold bowls. I got four of these. They're a dollar fifty here, which is very affordable. So we got four of them. Those are going with us. And this is definitely. <gasps> Not two suitcases worth, so I'm definitely gonna be going back sometime soon. I'm gonna open these little, just like, fried chicken snacks with you guys, because who in the hell sells fried chicken like this? It's shaped like a drumstick. Honey? Yes? Here, fried chicken. Tell me yeah, if it tastes like fried chicken, yes. Wow, this is some weird stuff, guys. Oh, that's definitely jam. This tastes like if you put some water in some strawberry Welch's jam. I call it a you. day. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, I don't like that one bit. These are cute. I'm excited to try these. And then just look at the way that I'm looking at the snacks right now. I literally got lost in the snacks that night. So that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I love you. Oh.